Good morning, YouTube family. It is Sunday, August 25th, and the time is approximately 8.47 a.m. It's seeing less of me. It's Michelle. How are you this morning? Wanted to check in and give you an update on things that have been happening for the past two weeks since we last spoke. And we'll start with the testing that I had done on Wednesday, August 21st. Uh, got to the hospital at 8 a.m., and checked in and let me just say I spent more time in the waiting room than I did getting the actual procedures done uh, so I checked in at 8 by the time I finished my check-in process it was approximately 820 825 my first appointment was of the day was my abdominal ultrasound um, and if you guys have never had an ultra uh, abdominal ultrasound I asked if I needed to get changed um, the uh, technician told me I didn't, so I went in fully clothed, um, and I sat in a dim room, and he, there's a machine there, and he takes this device, it's about this wide, and he puts gel on it, and I had to lift up my shirt and pull down my pants to my hips, and then he gave me a towel for privacy, which was awesome, and he took this probe and went all over my abdomen. And we spent about 20 minutes doing that. Um, probably probably 10 minutes on each side, on the right side of my body and the left side of my body. And um, a lot of pressure, no pain. So that was amazing. Um, of course, the gel was cold. And once he did his reading, he asked me to just sit there and wait because he was going to take it to the doctor for reading. And I was out of there. So that appointment was actually 830 so I was out of there by 10 minutes to 9. I then go back to the waiting area because it's in the same location. I think they call that the radiology department. I'm not, I'm not certain. Um, and I wait for a chest x-ray. That was, uh, oh, take your shirt off, take your clothes. I'm not doing all that. Uh, we can just roll in because my next appointment is at 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So I, I need to move, move along with my day. Um, I'm sorry, 9.15. And um, so I went in the room. She was like, well, you can leave your shirt on. Just pull your bra down. Okay, I pull my bra down to my waist, leave my shirt on, take my um, jewelry off, pull my hair up. Um, and literally, it was hold your breath to the front, click the picture, turn to your left, put your arms up, hold your breath, take the picture. I was out. Okay, moving right along. Then we proceed to our EKG. When I tell you it took the woman longer to put the, the, the probe things on than it did the actual test, I'm not kidding. So you go to your EKG. They put these little round things with these silver dots in them. I meant to ask for one to show you because I'm not certain, you know. But anyway, I didn't. I'm sorry. Uh, and she puts them all over. So probably 8 to 10 of them over your body. At your ankles, under your um, breast bone. All of, you, just, and she puts these long probes that's got almost like a metal clip on them to the metal dot things. Alright. She puts those on. She pushes the button. Bzzz, test is done. She unhooks you. You're out the door. Okay, cool. Now, it's about, I don't know. I don't know what time it is. I'm, well, Kelly and Michael were still on. So whatever time that is on the East Coast. I guess that's nine something. Like, I don't know. Yeah. No, see how I lie? I got my, my times mixed up. It was after... 10 because Rachel Ray was on. Isn't it a shame that you could tell time about what? But anyway, Rachel Ray was on and she had on Carol Burnett. And I thought that was so. But anyway, see, I digress. Anyway, because I have a lot to tell you. Um, So I'm sitting there waiting for the arterial blood gas, which measures the oxygen in your blood, which they get from an artery, not a vein. 
I sit there and I'm waiting. And now at this point, it's been 20 minutes. Carol Burnett's segment has come and gone. And now we're on a new segment. And I'm getting annoyed because I've been sitting here waiting for 20 minutes. So now we're pushing 1030. Because I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to be in and out of here. <clears throat> I'm waiting. So I call back on the phone again. Because there's no receptionist there. So you have to call on the phone. So the woman answers and she says, oh, let me see what's going on back there. So here comes the woman, Miss little Miss Boppity Bop. And she was the nicest woman. She really was. But she proceeds to take me to the back. Let me just tell you that this arterial blood gas is no joke in my opinion. This woman had to stick me not once, but twice. And it really hurt. The one thing I'm really, really thankful for is that it wasn't a pain that lasted prolonged. But it hurt. Um, and the other thing that I'll tell you is, if for me, my arm ached for the rest of the day. It, it ached. So she got me around in this area. Um, and it, it did. It ached for the rest of the day. Again, thank you. Thank you, Lord, that it was only two, two times. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know if I could have done a third time. I'm talking tears. Tear, uh, tear, yeah. <clears throat> it brought tears to my eyes. Leg shaking. Like, let me just get through this. Let me try to breathe through. Remember when you were pregnant with your children? And they tell you to do that breathing like it's going to help. You all know it didn't help. Okay, I'm sorry. It may have helped some of you, but it didn't do a thing for me. You try to breathe like that. It didn't help. You just think that it... Okay, so you get my point. So moving on. Then I go downstairs to the um, area where they take your blood. And one of the things that the person that checked me in told me to do, which was great was since I had so much work to get done, so much lab work to get done, give them my paperwork ahead of time and then go to my appointments and go back. That was a great idea because at the end of the day, they wound up taking 13 um, vials of blood from me. The woman was like, you probably going to need a transfusion after this. What are you getting done? Listen, I just need you to draw the blood, please, so I can be on my merry way. Um, so that was um, the 13th vial. So that includes... I can't even tell you everything that was listed on that list. I should have made a copy for myself, but I didn't. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I know better. Um, that was 13 tubes of blood plus a, a stool sample. So we got through all of that. And I was actually sitting at my desk by 11.30, quarter of 12. So that was pretty amazing. So I spent my morning at the hospital, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Um, and my next two major appointments won't happen until September that will be on September the 10th I will see the nutritionist at 8 o'clock in the morning and on September the 12th I will see the surgeon and get my psyche valve and those appointments start at 8 30 in the morning so um, that's where we are with all of that if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I will try to do my best to explain them. But I, I tell you, I really spent more time in the waiting area, um, waiting for my, my, my appointment, than I did any of the tests. And the only one that actually bothered me was that arterial blood gas. That one just, whew, that one was something. And it is my understanding that sometimes um, they do this test in your groin area, I think I'd have had to drop kick someone seriously if they'd have tried to do my. That, yeah, no, we're not. We're not doing that. Um, so I'm. I'm grateful that it was in my arm and I, I was able to <laughs> do my best. Cause as, as I was typing when I got to work, I was like, "Oh, this aches." But again, it. Once the test is over, I think you'll be you'll be fine. It's just getting taking a leave or whatever. Keep it moving. Ice it. You'll be all right. We'll, we'll, yeah, I was all right. We'll all be all right. Um, so that's all I have for for right now. Um, oh no! See how I lie. So remember that time I said I wasn't going to eat any chocolate. 
while I tell you I did better, I did much better than I had pre the previous weeks. I had chocolate that first Thursday. So whatever the Sunday was the the, the last time we talked, that Thursday, VSG Looky Lou, um, I had chocolate. Yeah. And then I found that I had chocolate again the following Thursday. So there's something about Thursdays in my world that just my stress level increases and I feel like I need that fix. So I'm going to figure out what that is and um, and work on that. I'm going to work on that. Um, and the other thing that I wanted to share was we're going to close out August and we know what that means. That means I'm going to drop my coffee down. <laughs> from three mornings to two mornings and between Mr. Seeing Less of Me um, not smoking and me with no coffee boy we're a lovely bunch here in the morning um, <laughs> so we're going to see how that works out um, and I'm going to do another video after this one and I'm going to talk about some patience and some issues that I'm having and uh, maybe we all can support each other and figure out how we can pack a little more patience and uh, on this while we're on this journey. So I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a good week. I'm going to have a good week on purpose. And I talk to you soon. Take care, you two family. Bye.